You're live. All right, we'll call to order the regular meeting for the Oneonta City School District Board of Education for June 10th, 2020. Can we have the roll call, please? Mr. Grau? Here. Mrs. Burnsford? Here. Mr. Butterman? Here. Mr. Gaysford? Here. Mrs. Kirkowski? Here. Mr. Beckerink? Here. And Mr. Reynolds is absent. Thank you. <clears throat> Before we start, I'd like to read a statement uh, from, the, from the board. In light of the recent events, we, the Oneonta City School District Board of Education, are committed to providing an education and working environment that promotes respect, dignity, and equality for all. We condemn the events that led to the death of George Floyd, and we also believe that Black Lives Matter. As a district, we're committed to welcoming everyone and recognizing that as a society, we have work to do. We pledge to you that we will listen more and strive to do better every day. If you as a member of our school community feel that the Oneonta City School District is not meeting that expectation, please tell someone, your teacher, counselor, principal, or utilize the Dignity for All Students reporting form on the school district website, oneontacsd.org. We want to know, we need to know, so we can do better. We want our school district to be a place where everyone feels safe and valued. As your school board, we hope to set that example for how members of our school community should be treated. We promise to treat all members of our school community with respect, empathy, and understanding. We have before us a great opportunity to learn from each other and to lean into uncomfortable conversations and commit to doing better. Moving forward, we promise to listen, to learn, and to help foster a more diverse school community where all students and staff feel valued and important. All right, thank you. Resolved to accept the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I gotta give you guys time to unmute, sorry. <laughs> Opposed? Abstentions. Thank you. Uh, I also I want to mention one other thing. There are two opportunities for the public to address the board in our uh, agenda. One is coming up in a, in a minute or so, and then there's another one at the end. Uh, for those of you from the public, you can go to the Q&A at the bottom and post a uh, comment there, which uh, during the appropriate time I, time I will read. Uh, let's move down. Resolved to accept the minutes of the May 27th, 2020 Board of Education meeting as presented. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion there? Corrections? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Sentience? Thank you. Uh, this does bring us to our first opportunity to address the board. Uh, as I said, there'll be another one coming down uh, near the end of the meeting. Resolved that the reading of the non-certificated personnel memorandum 2020-10 be waived and that the action items dated June 10th, 2020 be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. Resolved that the reading of the teaching and administrative personnel memorandum 2020-10 excuse me, dash 10 be waived and that the action items dated June 10th, 2020 be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mr. Grinnell, if, if I could, uh, on tonight's uh, memorandum, there is uh, there are uh, two New folks, Hannah Seguise and Katrina Havrish. And Hannah is um, the daughter of Angie, who works in our uh, district, and uh, the daughter of Chris, who's a teacher in a nearby district. And uh, upon your approval, we're, we're super excited to have Hannah with us. And Katrina uh, comes to us with a, with a, a wealth of experience. Um, she 
has uh, worked at Springbrook, and she's going to bring that experience and those skills with her to uh, to the Oneonta City School District, where she'll be working at Riverside Elementary. And we are excited to have her, and we're excited to have both, and we wish them both long, happy, and healthy careers here in Oneonta. All right. Thank you. I can hear you a lot better this week, Tom. That's great. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you guys, you know what? It was, you know, I, I got rid of that other, that new camera. We, we went back to the old camera. Great. Good move. Thank you. You look better too. <laughs> Love yourself. All right, I'll stop. Do you mind if we take a vote? <laughs> Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Thank you. All right, that brings us down to the capital project update, which we can now hear loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, there, you know, again, there's just a lot going on. Um, if you've uh, driven by Center Street, uh, of course, this is the repair reserve uh, projects that we have going on there, but the roof is um, pretty close to completion, as poor Lisa can attest, as uh, it's, it's been like a, a an ongoing thunderstorm on the roof above uh, her office. Um, the uh, parking lot is, is also finally getting done and um, today uh, the contractors were in and uh, creating the uh, second egress onto Ivy Court, which will um, certainly make that parking lot much more, um, uh, just safer in general and uh, much less, you know, much fewer people making a wrong turn out of uh, the Center Street parking lot uh, so that'll be good. Of course, uh, at all of the other schools, there's still construction taking place. It's all going very, very well. Um, and uh, right now, ahead of schedule. So that's all very, very exciting. All right. Good to see. All right. So we uh, the policy we need to approve. Resolve to accept policy B.40, required policies on data security and privacy policy. Approval of the first reading and waiving of the second reading. So moved. Thank you. Discussion? Mr. Grau, this is, this is obviously uh, to keep our district in compliance with the uh, N2D law. Um, and uh, this was um, fashioned from our school attorneys uh, to make sure that we were in compliance with, uh, with the state law and regulations. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. Resolved that the Board of Education hereby appoints the following persons to serve in the capacity of registration board slash poll instructors for the June 16th, 2020 board vote and election. The vote will be conducted through absentee ballot. <coughs> Appointee is Sean Georgia, David Curity, Robert, uh, Rebecca Vanderwerker, Charlotte Santamount, and Sarah Crone. So, <clears throat> so moved. Second. Discussion? So this is uh, because we had to, the state move the, uh, the date for which uh, ballots are due. We had to obviously move the date to which we could count the ballots. Uh, so we needed to uh, have a resolution. The original resolution was for yesterday. Um, so these people will be counting the ballots and uh, that will be available uh, via Zoom also, you'll be able to watch that, or yeah, Zoom, you'll be able to watch that streaming live as they count the ballots. That should be thrilling. Um, <laughs> any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Moving on, resolve that the reading of the financial memorandum 2020-10 dated June 10th, 2020, 
be waived and that the financial action items be approved as recommended by the superintendent of schools. Hello. Second. Second. Discussion. Um, yep, there's nothing really out of the ordinary on there. There's um, a few quotes that we do annually. The, um, the refuse and recyclable bid is actually the same as it is this year. And you can see that they were, they came in very, very close to each other. Um, for the boiler service, we have the new boilers. So we did have the um, manufacturer, the company that installed them, um, look over our, our quote so that we had the updated um, information in there. And then we had to add some for the pool area also. Um, this, we had one um, quote and they were the only ones around that do that. The, the person who currently services our boilers, uh, the old boilers doesn't work on this kind. So that was a little bit of a change for us. And the change order um, is there and they're explained on the change order for work that was um, already on the project. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. This brings us to our second opportunity to address the board. And I don't see any comments in there. So we'll move down to round table. And uh, we can start with Darren. Maybe. Darren, can you hear us? We started with you up for yeah, a I uh, okay. forgot to unmute it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have nothing new for this week. Okay. <laughs> Sue? I have nothing new as well. All right. Sean? Uh, nothing new on committees. Just want to congratulate Katrina and Hannah on their uh, new jobs. And uh, Hannah, I just want to let you know you got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> but I think you have no problem uh, getting some lessons and some learning while you're not working. So again, congratulations. You'll do a great job. We're looking forward to uh, everything both you and Katrina have to offer to our district. Amy? Can you hear me? I'm not yeah. sure. Yep. Okay. Honestly, I don't have anything to report. Okay. Last but certainly not least, Mr. Butterman. <laughs> I will be saying last. <laughs> uh, I have no committee reports, but of course I, I only have a, a few more meetings left, so I, I would be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity. So I was thinking about the statement that you read at the beginning there, and I think it is not only timely, but really a very, um, point of statement, and I think it serves as a good reminder for our teachers, staff, and students in the kind of learning environment that we want to have, knowing that we can't do it every day, that like you said in the statement, that it's something we want to do better at, and we have to be notified in a way. You, know, you have to know where you can improve, even if it's a small thing. And uh, with that statement, if also it would be wrong if I didn't mention other things where you can hear similar statements. Uh, being made as far as the importance of for all of us to be mindful of when we might have our blinders on and not see the things that are marginalizing those in our education community. And there's a, a TED talk from Tracy Ellis Ross from two years ago at TED Women that talks about uh, women being, um, I don't want to say harassed or molested, but the things that you don't realize, realize that could marginalize or make a woman feel unsafe. And I know it doesn't, it's not quite on point here, but what she said that really sticks with me was how it is the innocuous that gives space for the horrific. And she said the charge to those that were listening was that you need to lean into those uncomfortable conversations. 
uh, it's because you don't realize that you need to have it. And I think that this, that we don't need to look at the big things as a reminder for us to have those small conversations that they can happen on a daily basis. And if someone is feeling even the slightest bit marginalized or devalued or unsafe, whatever it may be, that there should be an avenue for them to be heard. And I'm really proud of that statement for bringing that forward. And so as we go forward, I, I, I know that as a white man, I am not often the focal point of prejudice. And however, I also feel it's worth noting that my wife has been, as a Hispanic woman, has been um, singled out, if you will, more than once for things that if I were in that situation, it would not have happened. And although she was not arrested, she was not harassed in any other way, she was certainly singled out because of the way she looked. And I think those small things, she will certainly never forget them. And she felt pushed aside and devalued and singled out for it. And although she wasn't arrested or any of those things that might get you in the news, it's certainly a feeling that sticks with you. And I think those are the things that in our education environment we can't address. And um, so I said it already, I'm really thankful for that statement and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to us working with it and uh, making it happen. Thank you. You know, I, I, I agree with you and I think we all want the school district to be strongly motivated to take a stance when injustice such as racism, discrimination, bigotry arise, you know, so we, we need to act and we need to act without any hesitation so that we don't allow those things to become infectious. Um, you know, I, I, so I appreciate that. That's what you said, Dan. Um, <clears throat> I know this, this was actually supposed to be your last meeting. I don't know if you realized it. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. um, we, we're not scheduled to meet again, but now we are. We weren't scheduled, but uh, I think, you know, given the fact that next... Wait, I'm not done then. We're meeting again next Wednesday morning at 8.15 for a very quick meeting to accept the canvas of the vote. Uh, and to approve some financial uh, items that have to be approved. Um, so really, this is your last official meeting. And I, I just want to say thank you, you know, for the time you've spent with the board, for your dedication to the school district um, and, and everything you've done for us. And I know we, we certainly uh, give you a little uh, kidding from time to time um, about your statements and the length of them, but we really appreciate your insight and, and thoughts. And uh, we certainly wish you well in, in your election campaign and, and everything that you do. So thank you. I don't appreciate saying as much. I, uh, I thought I had two more meetings after that. So. <laughs> just one, just, just next week. Yeah, one more chance. Yep. <laughs> so Sean needs you to keep it short though. He's got to get on the road next week. <laughs> and, and I will not be at the, at the special meeting on the 17th. Yeah, I think we'll have five with Dan. Let me know if there's any changes because if in a pinch, I could probably be, be there. Okay. All right. Well, with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn to executive session for the purposes of special education and personnel. So moved. moved. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>